But honestly, like, I'm going to say this one time. And I don't think I'm going to talk about him ever again after this. But Nick, I know at one point you cared. Just go away. I know at one point you cared. You can't ever take that from me by being cruel to me now. I really could use you giving a fuck. Maybe right about now. Um, I could have used you giving a fuck a few times, actually, but, um, your focus is on destroying me and talking about me and destroying things with the girl that you think you want to be with who you're not going to end up with, but, he was kind of my security blanket for this sort of shit. And he, he supposedly didn't judge me for it or ask questions or make me feel like I was lying about it. He just fucking helped me. And I don't see how you can go from that to how he is with me now because he's the one who's initiated all these things with me. He's the one who won't go away and leave me alone, but... I'm the one sitting here like still missing the good sides of him that don't exist <sighs> and they were a lie and I could I could and I can't keep up right now Um, I can't keep up. No, I, I never, like, guys, I didn't fucking follow him. This is my area. I'm homeless now. Like, I have places to stay here. There's no question. I didn't follow anybody. I went where there were resources for me. And I thought I could work here. I'm still in the middle of doing something, but I don't know what I'm doing. It was my driver's license. I just want to finish what I'm doing. I just want to finish what I'm doing. I just want to finish what I'm in the middle of already doing, but I can't figure it out. Okay. I got it. I don't know what I was doing, but I think I did what I was supposed to do. So that's cool. Um. Okay, um, uh, yeah, wait, I'm trying to get one last thing. So yeah, I got I got that all sorted out I think finally after my brain made it make sense. So that's cool. I can go to Mike's now. Actually what I really should do is check my other bank accounts to see if So here's the thing too, I have like two cash apps because like the one bank account can have randomly money just randomly fucking drawn out from it. So I have two cash apps. So that I can, like, keep anything anybody sends me in the air, like, in Cash App land. Um. Why would I rehome them? They're supposed to go to my fucking mom's. Like, you're in La La Land. Like, guys, I don't think you're well-wishers if you're telling me that. Because, like, you either know what's going on with them or you don't at this point. 
and they look so angry and unhappy, don't they? Literally, with their mother, you know, in a chill, secure environment, and then they're in the car. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I think y'all are the crazy ones. Um, I don't remember. Remember what I was doing? I am forgetting what I was doing. Yeah, Chicken Eddie doesn't expose me because he doesn't know what I do. And that's the problem that's always been with Chicken is he literally also, you know what, actually, I'm going to send you the text he sent me from the other day where he was being a fucking quote unquote dad. And it actually is embarrassing here. Chicken, I'm exposing you right now. Um, let's find it. Uh, so many. Here we go. So this is the funny thing, right? Just to be clear, only friends, and don't park on my street. You need to focus on yourself just as I am. Um, okay, what well, that was fine. And don't park on my street. Like, that was Jacob that always did that. So he's literally... I don't know if Chicken just does so many drugs and burns so many people. He can't keep up with who he's burned and how. But he, he literally, like... Oh, by the way, I just broke up with my girlfriend last night. A toxic relationship, really. She never really trusted me after last Christmas. Because of me. So it was honestly bad from the start. And then let's... let's okay, this, this is the comment I want you guys to hear that he sent me. Um, it was... About... Sex? And how apparently, like... My, oh, th this is this is what made me laugh. This is what tells me chickens. He literally the same day he live streamed told me never to live stream again, and that fuck streaming he would never touch it again. Like again, it's all here. Um, but this is what got me. D David, your hormones are fucked up. Why, David? Do you feel this way? For starters, I don't know where this information in your head came from. Um, and I was being nice. I just ignored it and didn't really, like, clarify with him that he didn't make sense. But it was, like, I actually think he has, like, dementia or something to the point where he thinks that, like, he confuses people and situations that aren't what they're connected to. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so, and just listen to how he says this. Like, no normal person, like, this isn't a normal conversation. Your hormones are fucked up. Again, I don't know why, like, unless it's from stress, I'll concede to that. But, like, that was just a weird comment to make. So, you need not to have sex. That's pretty clear. David, are you my dad? Like, my hormones are fucked up. Like, does that, like, can you, like, clarify any of the fucking babble you just sent me with that? Um, also what's really funny is live a healthier lifestyle, drugs, sex, and clubs are all toxic things that waste life and lives. I think he just likes to hear himself talk sometimes. Like he'll tell me things I've told him. Like I'm learning it from him. And I, instead actually like he's actually gotten the, the information from me first. But the irony that I'm trying to tell you is after all these texts and after him asking what I was doing the other night, by the way, um... I forgot what I was going to say, but it was very, it was more just kind of like exposing this faggot for who he is. I forgot what it was though. I don't know, but yeah, uh, chicken, um, you lost your ex because you're a fucking cheater. You also convinced me that, uh, Nick was a piece of shit, which you were right about, chicken, and I believed you, but what you seem to fail is that you're actually just as many red flags as you try to convince me Nick was. And I ran to Nick as a rebound, thinking he was better, and I learned the hard way that he was not. So, yeah. Uh, no, like, I, I don't know what you guys are all talking about right now. Um, I'm trying to keep up. I can't. So there's that. I'm actually heading back towards fucking Mike's right now, though. I think I figured... 
No, what the fuck? There were two other things I had to do. Br brutal. Like, brutal. Literally brutal right now. Yeah, because, like, my money from DoorDash keeps not showing up in my fucking bank accounts, right? So that's part of the situation that I'm trying to explain to you guys. Like, um... I think it's going to another bank account that it shouldn't be going to. The score went up so much. Oh my god, my credit score went up so much. What the fuck? Awesome. That is. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my goals. Um, I'm going. Um, thank you guys so much for um all the fucking donations and help. I did fuck up. I did fucking lose my shit. Um. When I really shouldn't have and couldn't have afforded to lose it. Um, yeah. We're at Safe, which is Mike's house, uh, or the RV. Um, and then I'm going to go hang out with my friend later afterwards, I think. So, yeah. Sean Ringland, no shit. Uh, no, Michael literally just told me to come back to the RV, dude. So, uh, maybe Nick needs to check up on who's stalking who. <sighs> Alright, so we're going back. I think saving me right now is like fucking food. Oh, and Rosemary, I love you so much. Last night, um, he fucking, like, he got up on the dash and, like, just was, like, playing with the water droplets, like, as they fucking, like, fell down the fucking windshield. It was so cute. It was so cute. My good boy.